Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product uh, from Gigastone and PhotoFast. It's the PhotoFast Evo Plus 64 gigabyte memory card. This is a three-in-one memory card, which I'm excited to use here. Uh, you can get this in 32 gigabytes and 64. I'll have a link in the description for uh, where you can check it out on Amazon. I'll also have a link to Gigastone where you can check out their website as well. Uh, and, and as I said, this is a three-in-one adapter or memory card. It's got a lightning adapter at the top, then it's got a USB 3.0 adapter at the bottom, and then it has cleverly uh, embedded a micro USB within the USB adapter so that you can hook this up OTG to uh, any Android uh, phone or tablet that supports OTG. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, I am somebody that uses an Android phone, but I have as my tablet, it's an iPad Air 2. Uh, so to have the cross functionality in one device is excellent. I love the, uh, that fact just because I'm somebody that's kind of split between the two camps there. Uh, this guy is great. We went over one of Photofast, uh, Gigastone Photofast's uh, other cards about a week ago, and uh, it was just for iOS. You'll use this iFlash Drive 1 application that's in the App Store. Uh, I have it on my uh, Android or my I iPad Air. Uh, two already, so we're all set to go. This guy does a lot. It, you can back up cl uh, cloud and social media backups. So you can, it'll work with Facebook, Instagram, uh, Google Drive, and it works with Dropbox, which I use quite often, so that's awesome. Uh, it's for iOS, Android, and Mac and PC, uh, so uh, I've also tested this on a Windows 10 PC. Uh, it just shows up like any other drive and works great. So going around the box, we'll just go over some of the specifications really quickly. Lightning USB 3.0 and micro USB interfaces. Product size is 58.3 to uh, 25.9 by 9 millimeters, and it weighs 12 grams. It's super light uh, and doesn't stick out too crazy on any of the devices that you're going to stick it into, and it works very well. The compatibility Mac OS, Windows XP or later, iOS 7 or later, and Android 4.1 or later, and you'll have that iFlash Drive 1 uh, free in the App Store. Uh, again, distributed by Gigastone. You can check them out at www.gigastone.com. Uh, service at gigastone.com is their email, and they even have an 800 number. They're located in Irvine, California, uh, and PhotoFast obviously is overseas, so Gigastone is doing the distributing for PhotoFast. Uh, so this guy, uh, again, nice packaging, hard case packaging that it comes with. We're going to bust it open. We'll show you the device now, and we'll get started right away. Uh, I, so I like the packaging on this. Here is the device, and as you can see, it's it's small, uh, it's compact, uh, it's got two sides where you get caps to you know protect the actual connectors. On the top, you're going to get your standard lightning connector here. That'll be for your iPhone, iPad, iPod, uh, and then on the bottom, you're going to get a connector that is a full uh, micro or sorry USB 3.0. And then cleverly, if you see this little blue line here, uh, you'll be able to stick your fingernail in there, push in and then up and what will happen is it will lock into place and now you've got a micro USB for your OTG or Android devices uh, right there right easy and then you can press this little button here and push it back into place and it locks back into place to again become full USB 3.0. Uh, nice design, super lightweight uh, I like everything about this as far as the uh, weight goes and the design. Uh, they put everything together. There's no seams out of place. It's almost like a the way it, they've built it, it looks almost seamless. Uh, they did a really good job on the, uh, on the design on this as well. So let's get this guy rocking on a couple different devices really quickly. Again, I've got an iPad Air 2 here. So we'll open this guy up. Uh, and I do have the iFlash... Uh, Drive one app already installed, so you'll just plug it in and it will uh, ask you if it wants to communicate with the iFlash drive. And I'll say, of course, allow. So, again, we're here with the iFlash drive uh, uh, by PhotoFast, and you can get into this guy uh, right here. So, basically, I've got my external storage. Uh, I've got 61.4 gigabytes left on it. If I click on that, I'll go right to the flash drive. Uh, you've got your in-app or device storage over here, so you can go in there and check that out. Uh, I've got 54 gigs left on that. I don't have a lot on this, but as you can see, it's a very uh, versatile 
uh, well-written application that they've got. You can do music. So if we go into music here, it's going to say in-app storage, uh, external storage in my iTunes music. If I go to my iTunes music, I've got some stuff from Dream Theater up here. I've got a few tracks so I can check those out. Those are the ones that I loaded onto the device from iTunes. Uh, and then if you go to uh, video, we'll see what video is in-app storage. Uh, external storage, which will be the flash drive itself. So we'll be able to take a look at that. Um, so let's take a look at that real quick. I've got uh, just the uh, movie Battleship on here right now. Uh, I'll play a little bit of that for you guys so that you can see it. Uh, and it plays very well, does very well here. I'm going to turn the volume down so I don't get in trouble. But as you can see, uh, i got no problem playing the movie. Uh, it seeks and finds everything very quickly. The picture is excellent. The, there's no stuttering. Uh, we got good transfer times on this as well when we were transferring stuff over. Uh, you're going to get about you know, uh, anywhere from 30 to 40 uh, on the USB 3.0 side, 30 to 40 uh, write speeds and up to 90 read speeds. Uh, so it's it's plenty fast for being able, and, and I'm talking megabytes per second, uh, to be able to read movies and play them back and, and have everything uh, do what it needs to do. So, so far, no problems with any of that. Uh, you do get uh, other things here. You get YouTube, you get uh, Vimeo, you get camera roll. I don't have any uh, stuff on my camera roll here, so we're not going to see anything there. Uh, but I do have, uh, if we go to YouTube, it should take us directly. Um, interestingly enough, if I go to my iTunes video, I have the movie Sucker Punch on here. And that was the one that I loaded from my iTunes. Uh, so that's in there as well. I'll play a little bit of that just to kind of show you uh, what's going on here. And we'll get into some of that. So I've got my own movie that I encoded and put on there and that works as well too. Uh, so you can get access to the internals plus what's on the PhotoFast itself. And as you can see, it's nice, it's flush with the unit, um, it's sturdy, uh, and it plays back everything that I could want it to play back. So let us uh, go back home here, get rid of that. Uh, you got zip files here, you can zip and unzip so you can interact with zip files as well. Uh, let me move this up just a second really quickly because uh, it looks like we're getting out of frame here on some of this. So I want to get back into frame on some of that. Okay, so uh, you got zip files, you got YouTube. If I go to YouTube, it actually takes me to a YouTube browser. Uh, I can watch videos through this directly. Uh, if I wanted to watch Batman versus Superman, I could. Uh, their trailer, and uh, we can check that out. Uh, we can go full screen on it, so they, they've kind of integrated, well, they go, it goes fairly full screen, it doesn't go totally full screen, but as, I mean, just for general viewing, it's actually pretty cool that they have integrated uh, this right into, um, you know, right into the... Uh, application itself. Uh, you got your in-app storage again, you got voice recorder, you can uh, actually record uh, stuff right here and then it will get saved. Uh, we can go back and we can check out uh, Dropbox, Google Drive, iCloud Drive, um, uh, Badu PDS, uh, PCS Beta, uh, Facebook Album Backup, Instagram Backup, Tumblr Backup, uh, Contacts, Calendars, Photos, if you allow the app to access your iOS, it will do all of those. You can hit backup all and it will back up everything, uh, you know, Dropbox backup, Google Drive backup, um, and in-app purchases. So you've got a ton of stuff in here that you can do with this. Uh, so let's switch this guy out real quick. Um, we're going to switch this out with... Um, switch this out with say I wanted to move or I wanted to watch that movie on my uh, Android phone so I'll move over to my Galaxy Note 4 here and I'll pop this guy out uh, and what we'll do I'll just get a fingernail in there it takes two hands for some reason for me and there it is now it's out and it's ready to go so if I want to actually do that I'll just insert it the right way and it's gonna come up as USB connector connected and it's automatically going to launch my files for me on mine. So here's Battleship again. If I wanted to watch Battleship, I can resume it on my phone. It sticks out a little bit further with this, but you know, as far as it goes, uh, it's not too bad at all. And again, 
we can see the movie uh, and it seeks through very quickly, plays very well, looks really good, and I can seamlessly transfer one from the other if I wanted to. Uh, so we'll get out of that. Uh, I will eject this guy in just a second. Uh, let's move that. There we go. So we can now take that out. Okay, so those are my thoughts on this. I love the fact that you've got this hideaway here so that you can have uh, OTG on your Android devices, but then you have your Lightning adapter for your iOS devices, and then you have your uh, USB 3.0 for your PC or Mac. Uh, you can transfer a ton of different files through this guy. You can access them on uh, various uh, different devices, PC, Android, iOS. Uh, they did an excellent job with all of it. Uh, I'm very impressed with this. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about the PhotoFast Evo Plus, you can leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll check you guys out on the next video.